On today's van life, stealth camping, food adventure, I venture out to test a brand new heating system to keep me warm and comfortable on these very cold, bitter, and windy Canadian nights. We'll be hanging out one of our favorite truck stops and eating some of our top items for dinner, snack time, and of course, good old breakfast. Cheese bomb. If this van life stealth camping food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today is an experimental day where we're gonna try an electrical blanket and try to keep warm with an electrical blanket. And uh, so I didn't wanna go too far away from home. So today I am at that same gas station we did in the spring. It's a truck stop, it's a brand new truck stop. It's the Petrocan slash A&W. It's open 24 hours a day. And uh, so if anything goes wrong, I have a place to go inside and, and stay warm. They have a washroom 24 hours a day. That's why I'm gonna kind of hang out here. But first, before we do anything uh, with this experiment, we are gonna grab some food from A&W. It's been a long time since we've done some A&W food. So let's go check it out. And we're gonna do my favorite meal at A&W. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite meal at A&W? Mine is the teen burger. Uh, with a root beer and uh, the frings. I think they do the the onion rings and fries. And of course, we're gonna have to do some white vinegar. Welcome to the Endeavor Institute today. Hi, uh, I'd like to do the uh, teen burger combo, please, with the root beer. And can we, do you guys have frings? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so, uh, can I do an order of onion rings, please? So team burger, onion rings, and root beer will have everything to today? That would be, thank you. You can have enough. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I made a mistake. That's, uh, who does frings? Harvey's. Harvey's does the frings. So you can get like a, the fries and onion rings in the same kind of pouch. My mistake. Hello. Thank you very much. To Oh, do you have white vinegar? Sorry? One package of white vinegar and a salt. Thank you. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? So I'm looking forward to this. Again, this whole idea, like I wanted to try a whole bunch of different things and I did some experimentation at home with a uh, electric blanket, uh, with a, a radiator heater. Uh, it's, it's, it's too big though. And it was also using like 1500 Watts when I first plugged it in. It was crazy. Oh boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close-up of this amazing little dinner we have here from A&W. Of course, when you go to A&W, you have to have root beer. And over here, we got our crispy golden onion rings, which we'll be dumping some white vinegar on that. And then the teen burger, we've got a patty, we've got onion, looks like fresh cheddar cheese slices, bacon, tomato, lettuce, mayo. We'll see what else is in there. I think they always also like to put uh, mustard in there too. That's one of my favorite things that uh, A&W does. Let's eat. Okay, first up, wet the whistle gonna put our onion rings lay them out a little bit so we can drizzle it with the white vinegar a few of you guys have tried this and agree that it is very yummy you put that all over your onion rings just put all your salt on top grab your beautiful huge onion ring check that out oh mm. Very crunchy, very delicious. Check this one out. This is even more golden. And just as crunchy. So let everybody know in the comments below, what do you think is better, the A&W onion rings or the A&W fries? Let's take a bite of this beautiful burger. I'm not sure if I've told you guys this story many years ago okay we got the mustard ketchup pickles onions and that's what makes uh their burgers taste so amazing plus that bun uh my my dad went to the mall to get his 
glasses and they were late. They said, come in and pick them up at a certain time. He gets there, they're not ready. And they're like, oh, you know, sorry for, for the inconvenience. And they gave him his coupon for a teen combo, which is pretty much this, but it was fries, not the onion rings. And uh, he just put it in his pocket. And then when he got home, he goes, here, have this. And so he gave me the coupon. So the next time I was at the mall, I I bought it and I was blown away. Like I I fell in love with A and W from there going forward. I always liked A and W, but I never had one of their combos or whatever. Not sure why. Maybe there wasn't any A and Ws close to my house when I was a kid. But uh, I just fell in love with A and W from there going forward. Cheers. Mmm. I think there's also supposed to be a a teen sauce on there. I'm not sure what that entails. It just looks like um, mayo to me. And they always use these huge chunks, which is great, but it makes it always slide around. Nice, very ripe tomato. And of course that crunchy bacon. Hmm. Wipe your face after every bite. I learned my lesson. This is gonna be my favorite bite because this is gonna get every single thing that they put on there in that one bite. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So good. So the story goes today, I was gonna to support a mom and pop shop that we've been to before, the burger station. I think I've done like four videos there. Great food, great people, love to support them whenever I can. And uh, I was going to buy my food there and then eat it probably in there on their property and then come over here to the truck stop and sleep here tonight with my electrical blanket. But they're closed. I don't know why, it's Tuesday afternoon. You think they'd be open, maybe they've changed their hours because of COVID and all that stuff, but I'll have to recheck the website and uh, see where I failed on that front. But at least uh, this a and is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Cheers. I haven't shaved also in about five or six days just to try and help keep my, my face warm when we're doing these stealth camps during the winter time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna shave again, uh, but I'll, I'll probably keep it short because it gets kind of ratty and stuff. Last bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> few more onion rings and we're done. Look at the size. Oh, it's just, they're stuck together. Oh, look at the size of that one. Ooh la la. But there's two. And they are fused together. So we'll have to eat it as it is. That worked out. All done. Now let's go in the back and turn on that heater. <laughs> As you can see, it's five degrees Celsius inside, which is great. And I've got my two Jackery solar power generators. I've got the 1500, I've got the 500. I'm gonna use the 500 to continue charging my uh, iPhone. And of course the uh, GoPro batteries. Uh, I've got this little case, it's got two in there. So I'm down one already. So, and then I've got the 1500, which is gonna plug in our brand new heating throw. Uh, the only thing about these things is they have an auto shut off. And uh, so I think it'll shut off in four hours. So if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm starting to freeze, I just gonna have to hit the, the power button again. So uh, let's uh, get things set up. I'm gonna turn this thing on first, just to keep the car up a little bit, cause it is freezing inside. I got three brand new canisters. And look at that, they're, they're all frosty on the outside there. Look at that blue flames blue flames Woo. 
Now we're gonna have some heat in here. I also brought some wool socks. Keep those feet warm. Uh, I'm going to put the small jackery up here, just like that. Let's open this thing up. There's gonna be a link in the description for this thing because it is so cool looking. And if any of you guys out there want to treat your wife or girlfriend to something really nice and cuddly warm beside yourself, check this out. I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. So uh, you'll be helping your, your girlfriend or wife out and you'll be helping me out too. All right, so I think it was around a hundred dollars. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but my favorite thing about this one, maybe I don't think it was a hundred dollars. I think depending on how big it is, uh, cause you can get smaller size or different size blankets. And I wanted one definitely that would cover the whole bed area. But this, the, the pattern on this thing is awesome. Look at the design on it. Come on guys. Pick one up for your wife, your girlfriend, because their fingers and toes are always cold. Am I right or am I right? So let's just press the power display to show you. We're at 100%, it's not drawing any power. At the moment, you plug your electric blanket in and then you press this. And depending on what setting, I imagine, let's put it onto medium just to see. So it is pulling 120 watts. 140, 130, and then it will eventually tell me how long it'll last. 30, 37 hours. So that's pretty good. If you're gonna be out and about uh, and you need to be warmth with, a, with an electric blanket, uh, obviously the Jackery is uh, a good option. So now it's gonna be 11 hours. So it just drops, you gotta keep your eye on. Uh, that stuff. Sometimes at the beginning when it st first starts heating up, it draws a lot more wattage. And then when it gets to temperature, it might actually start to pull a lot less wattage. We'll, we'll check in a couple minutes, but uh, it says it's a fast acting heat blanket. Uh, and the other thing too, is I'm gonna have to keep this somewhat close to me so that I can just kind of reach out and press it again in the middle of the night because as you know, it's it's probably going to uh, shut off in about four hours. When I go into bed tonight, it's gonna to be super cozy warm because I'm gonna lay this out right now and uh, that'll keep everything here and when I'm sitting on it, it's gonna keep my butt warm. And again, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I don't want the, the um, the propane heater on while I'm sleeping, but I also want to be warm while I'm sleeping. So uh, this is going to bridge the gap. A few of you guys have, have given me lots of great information, especially about those diesel heaters. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put one in this vehicle. Uh, I think I want to be able to, to get as far as I can with just doing stuff like this with this vehicle. Again, I would like to move up into the next style, like uh, parcel van or delivery van style van. So it'll be much bigger. I'll have much more room for more things. And uh, in that one, definitely I want to insulate it and put in the diesel heater for sure. Just trying to figure out which way I want this. Do I want this cord close to me? Because you'd think that you'd want the cord close farther away. It is nice and warm. Oh, it's such a great pattern. I love the pattern. But this is super warm, guys. Holy. Again, if it lasts 11 hours, I'm going to have to probably, if it's only going to last 11 hours, then I'll probably want to start it at like eight. Uh, right now, it's just an experiment with you guys. Well, I brought my waters too. Last last week when we did our video, in the morning it was there was like slush in there. So these do freeze in the nighttime. So I'm gonna put one. I always keep one where I'm gonna be sleeping. It's nice to sit on this. First of all, it's nice and nice and soft. It's not as long as I thought it was going to be. 
it does it, it did tell me the measurements and I think this is one of the larger ones and I don't think you can get anything bigger than this so as long as it kind of wraps around me and keeps us warm in the nighttime I'm good and with this uh, smaller unit plug in my phone make sure that's still good to go don't want my phone to die 100 percent power there and i think the phones only take uh like i don't know 20 maybe it's always low okay three i was way off <laughs> okay six five come on yeah just five watts so that would last you like a week <laughs> Another little upgrade we did for Rosti here is because of the last video and we thought, you know, if uh, a truck came by and plowed and plowed me in, which I've seen that happen to people before, uh, we got a, my wife bought me this. So she bought me both things. She bought me the, the brush and she bought me the shovel and it's a telescoping shovel. So telescope telescoping so it uh, folds down nice and small and uh, that will get me out of any type of snow bank that might get built up around me now it's getting a little warmer in here and this electric blanket is heating my bum nicely uh, let's check the jackery so it's I'm guessing it's at temperature and it's only pulling in 69 to 75 watts and it's still gonna say it's still saying it's gonna last 11 hours but uh, I'm gonna let it go for a little bit and then we'll shut it off for a few hours because uh, we don't need it at the moment because uh, we got that guy. That's doing a great job. Yesterday it got down to uh, minus 24 to minus 35 with the wind chill and uh i, I wish i had kind of gone out in that i'm kind of glad i didn't but i wish i had gone out in that uh so it's actually getting let's call it warmer here in ontario canada what's the temperature it's minus 13 degrees outside so it's minus 13 the other video we started at i think minus nine uh, sorry minus eight and we thought by the morning it was going to be minus uh, 14 but it was minus 22 with the wind chill and uh so things changed differently yesterday what's the wind chill the wind chill is currently minus 21 degrees minus 21 degrees right now so uh it's going to be the coldest for me to start a stealth camp uh whereas yesterday or the last video we didn't start at minus 21 uh, wind chill so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think we'll be fine tonight, especially now that I know that the Jackery um, Another thing too, uh, these things are, are have some um, Safety features in them if you try if they're if the battery was really really cold and you try to charge it You could damage it, but I won't let you charge it when it's at a certain temperature and the same thing uh, When you plug something into it if it's too cold it won't put out anything to protect its battery. I think it's rated for minus 26 Celsius, which is, I think is 16 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So I'll ch double check those numbers just to make sure. Minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit is minus 26.7 degrees Celsius. So hopefully we don't get into a situation where we're lower than minus 26 degrees Celsius, uh, with, uh, uh, depending on Jackery's to, uh, keep me warm because i'll just stop working no matter what right so um yeah just gonna sit back relax and uh, enjoy the warm blanket for another couple hours the insulating stealth windows up and uh, I'm gonna leave 
this one down for a little bit just so I can watch the sunset until my bed is all nice and warm. This thing's been on for a little bit. Let's just check the power. And uh, so it's only pulling in 80 watts and then every once in a while it'll drop to zero. And I'm guessing that's when the blanket hits temperature and then it'll jump to like 80 hours. <laughs> uh but obviously it's back to 11 and then every once in a while there you go it drops to zero so it will probably last a good 12 to 15 hours maybe more if it's just fluctuating back and forth like that so uh i guess we'll have to wait and see it's warm enough in here i can take this thing off again my body's not cold at all just my feet are cold because uh, I try really hard not to get slush and stuff onto this carpet. Uh, maybe I'll get like a boot tray, a small boot tray. And when I get in, I'll step on the boot tray. And then after I'm done everything, I can wipe the boot tray, put my boots off to the side, put the tray up against the wall. And that way my carpet stays dry. Anyway, back to the internet. All right, guys, it is quarter after seven. I am quite warm. Chances are I probably don't even need a sleeping bag uh, knowing that this electric blanket's gonna keep me that warm. Uh, so a couple things. Number one, my feet are still wet from stepping in the puddles that I created with my boots. Uh, luckily, my wife told me to bring socks. I've got some big woolly socks that I'll be putting on when I go to bed not until then so i'll keep that there it's uh 14 degrees celsius again i'm not sure if this light's going to be too bright or 14 degrees celsius which is a perfect temperature in here uh i think everything's good oh and i uh, another thing too is when i go to bed i always put one of my spare one of my spare uh gopro batteries in my pocket just to keep it from freezing so that when I wake up in the morning, uh, I have a battery I can use. Uh, the other thing too is I keep this in my pocket as well, either in my uh, hoodie pouch or in my actual pocket. It usually falls out while I'm tossing and turning all night. Yeah, that's got to keep that warm too, because if I leave it out in these temperatures, it's just definitely going to freeze. So I thought we'd just zip into the gas station, maybe grab a couple snackies, and uh, then we'll come back out here and enjoy it with you. Just to be extra safe i'm gonna shut this off there we go Some glasses are all fogged up can't see nothing A little bit of coke and two of my favorite treats. Number one will be Miss Vicky's jalapeno. Oh. And Humpty Dumpty cheese sticks. Oh yeah. Two of my favorite snacks right there. My wife told me to get a hot chocolate. So let's do it. She said, you need to get a hot chocolate. You're freezing in that vehicle so i guess you put that there dispense ready that's cool it doesn't look very chocolatey stop have to wipe that up Hello. How you doing? Hot chocolate. We got one of these. And one of those. And one of these. Thank you. Oh yeah, those things. Popcorn. Nice. Hot chocolate's 
gonna be chocolate milk by the time we get there. Look at this. Chaos. Jeez. I turned my fan on. I haven't used it since the summer. And uh, I've aimed it at the front windshield because it is turning into a big solid piece of ice. And let's check out this hot chocolate. See if it's good. When it was coming out, it looked really watery, but uh, it's not bad. Mm. Keep your hands on it like this. Let me just turn that light a bit. There we go. It's not bad. I, I've, I've had better for sure. It looks really watered down. It's definitely sweet. It's not very creamy. It's definitely like a water-based hot chocolate. What I could have done is stopped it a bit earlier and then put some of their cream in it next time. That is definitely gonna help warm things up in my belly. I'm gonna put that there for a minute. I really wanna turn on this heater again. I think it's run out of fuel. It's fluttering. It's fluttering. It's doing some sparks. It's definitely letting off a little bit of heat right now. So we'll just keep using that until that tank burns out. So it is uh, 7.35. So like I said, I'm gonna let that run until it runs out of fuel or I'll shut it off at nine. I'll probably just let it run out of fuel. We don't need my jacket anymore. Cause I really wanna just survive with just the electric blanket <clears throat> and, and again, it's a safety thing. And this is how we'll do things from now on. All right, first up, this is this is what I would normally do back in the day. I don't I don't buy Coke for my house anymore. Uh, I only do it on uh, like at Christmas time. I'll buy like a two liter bottle of Coke for my rum because I love my rum at, at, at uh, Christmas time. Um, but other than that, there's no soft drinks in my house. Uh, for me, I don't, I don't drink soft drinks. It's just too much sugar in my life. So, but today's a special occasion. Yeah, normally I'll have water or I'll have um, club soda, but, and then I'll also have my jalapeno. They're like kettle cooked chips. So they're very, very crunchy and uh, just have a nice kick heat to them. a fabulous snack the last time I had these was up at my wife's parents cottage and uh, my brother-in-law this is his favorite snack so I don't normally buy these but out of all the cheesy type treats these are my favorite and they have to look like this I like Cheetos but I prefer these puffy ones over the tight, curly, crunchy ones. These ones have more airy, airiness to them. It's like eating styrofoam, cheese flavored styrofoam. Mmm. -hmm. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite snack is. When you're watching a movie or when you're freezing to death in a parking lot, I'll enjoy my hot chocolate uh, try to find a movie to watch, watch the movie, and then we'll hit the hay.
It is minus one degree outside. All my windows are super frosty. It's cloud cover, so no sunrise this morning. Um, in the car, it is plus two degrees. The electric blanket worked amazing. I think I had to get up probably at around five and it's like something woke me up and uh, I like just kind of felt to see if it was still warm and uh, it had gotten a little on the cool side. So I had to just reach over, grab the cable. That's, that's a good thing about having the cable close to you. Uh, again, this probably normally would be near the foot of the bed, I guess, because you don't want that near the top of the bed, I don't think, but that's where this thing is. So I still have it on medium. It was a very successful night. I set my, the sun was supposed to come up at uh, 7.52 this morning, but uh, Siri told me that it was cloud cover, so there was no point in getting me up and shooting that. But at seven o'clock, it sounded like somebody dropped a metal garbage can and then dragged it and then picked it up, dropped it, and then dragged it. But it was two um, snow plows, so they were pickup trucks with a blade, and you couldn't hear, it's funny, you couldn't hear the, the, the vehicle. All you heard was the blade, and uh, that's why I couldn't figure out what it was for a while. I'm like, somebody's shoveling, but, or somebody's dragging something, that's what it sounded like. And then I got up and just took a peek out one of the, uh, stealth windows so not only were they scraping up some of the snow that maybe fell during the night but they're probably putting down lots of salt and uh, possibly sand so I guess we'll have to be careful if we have to get out of the car let's take a peek at our solar power generator see how well it did and we'll hit that so we're down to 35 percent uh it's saying 29 hours left that can't be right wow um yeah so the electric blanket doesn't use up a whole lot of power i'm guessing the main problem is if we're doing a multi-day uh stay uh we would have to plug this in somewhere uh or set up the uh the solar panels and a day like today it would suck because there's no sun so uh you'd be you wouldn't use this for multiple days you just do it for the one night stealth camp which is what i do so uh, it's going to do me fine for the rest of the winter now that I know that I can stay nice and warm. I don't have to worry about it. But uh, unless it gets down to minus 26 inside this vehicle, which I don't think it ever would. It always seems to be warmer in the vehicle, especially with me in here and the electric blanket. And my little buddy heater, of course, keeps us all nice and warm. But it uh, messes up my, my windows, so I'm going to have to get out some paper towel and just give them a little wipe, especially that front windshield. Look at it. Let's start this car up. Defrost. It's still so warm. Oh, guess we should go. Oh, the window's all clear. Nice. Check it out. That defrost worked great. Now we can go get breakfast. Oh, it's just water. Good. Good. I thought it was solid ice. Crazy. It's not too cold. Of course, it's A&W, it's 24 hours. Let's go get breakfast. Oh, really nice and warm in here. Holy shnikey. Then we're gonna do the uh, English muffin sausage and egg or meal with, of course, A&W coffee. Good morning. Could I uh, get the English muffin sausage and egg or combo, please? Sure. And could that Would be you like to make that a comp with hash brown and a coffee? Uh, yeah, can we do a large black coffee, please? Sure. And the hash browns. That's everything? Um, you know what? Let's do the pancakes too, please. Sure. That'd be great. 
Can I get you anything else? That's it, thanks. 1365 LT has a window. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you guys put your car in park or do you just keep your foot on the brake? Thank you. Sure. Can you just park here in the corner and get it out? Sure, thanks. Thank so it's taking a little bit longer for those pancakes. But they have a side door, it looks like. There's nobody behind me, so I don't know why they wanted me to pull around. I could have just waited there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that body going. Rawhide. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Bye. Oh, wow. It's like Christmas. All set up. Let's go in for the close up. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, check out this feast for a king or a Ken, as it would be, from AW. Got our hot black coffee and the very stylish cup. And over here, we got our upside down sausage and agar. See that cheese? I'm like looking at it. I'm like, what is wrong with that sandwich? It's upside down. Over here, we got our golden crispy hash browns and our three wonderful fluffy pancakes. And uh, when I looked in the bag, all they had was this syrup. I'm like, oh, they forgot the butter. And then I looked into the thing and they already had put butter on it, but it slid off but it looks amazing. Let me know in the comments below, have you had the A&W breakfast or not? All right, first up definitely is the coffee. Getting the old taste buds in action. Oh yeah. Thanks A&W, you rock. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, mm, warm. Delightful. Mm. Who invented hash browns? They're dynamite. Mm. So the logo. Oh yeah. Next up, the sausage and agar the right way up so the cheese is flopping down. Mmm. <laughs> Toasted, buttered, looks like a hand cracked egg. And of course, that 100% cheddar cheese. Oh, look at that cheese. Cheese, Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it. Definitely one of my favorite breakfast items at AW. Next up are those hot cakes. We've got to put that syrup on. Smucker's breakfast syrup going on. All right, guys, here we go. Going in for the extreme close-up once again. Oh, my goodness. Pour it on. Nice and slow. Oh, yeah, do it slow. Do it slow. A little bit over here. A little bit over there. Make sure you get it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, pour on that butter. Why not? <laughs> all right, let's eat. I should have smeared that butter on first, eh? Silly. Doesn't really work when you put it on after the syrup. Numb nuts. Let's do a half pancake at a time. Why not? Oh boy. Maybe we shouldn't. Yes, we should. Not bad. Not bad pancakes at all. I'll do a quarter at a time now. That is definitely hitting the spot after a very cold couple days. And then surviving in the back of my van with an electric blanket. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoy these little experiments that we do with uh, items that we need for future van life stealth camps. I'm still kind of like working and tweaking the formula of these videos and i'm kind of liking showing up doing a food item and then doing the bed part and then doing a breakfast item and just doing the whole stealth camp sleepover thing let me know in the comments below what uh what what style of video do you like 24 hours where i show up at 12 noon 12 24 hours is pretty good if I only eat two meals in a video, then I could possibly shoot more videos in a week 
Whereas if I do the 24 hour, I'm eating a lot of food and it takes days to recover. Doing my intermittent fasting, trying to burn off the calories of all the food I ate. Last bite of this amazing breakfast. Well, there you go, guys. That was the electric blanket survival stealth camp at a truck stop. And uh, it was definitely successful. I definitely am going to be bringing that electric blanket on every single trip. And of course, the uh, Jackery solar power generators, uh, that's going to be a given. Uh, the only thing I forgot uh, is a cable that plugs in my GoPro batteries into the Jackery. Uh, so I only had three GoPro batteries uh, to shoot this whole video, plus my iPhone, which is unlimited power because I can plug it into the car or, and I also had the cable for that. So uh, I just took it out by accident uh, in the last uh, video that I did and I forgot to replace it back into the, into the van, return it back to the van. And because of that, I couldn't shoot the, the night time lapse that I usually do of me going to bed and me waking up. So uh, that takes about two batteries to shoot that that footage so sorry about that all right guys i'd like to thank every single one of you guys for watching my video subscribing hitting that like button leaving comments all you guys are amazing and my channel members thank you guys for sticking around every single month and of course all my supporters over on patreon you guys rock if you guys want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I dumped down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.